hello guys and welcome back um yeah i know some of you have been you've been telling me about your disappointments with the plants that you started earlier in the year with me and um i just wanted to encourage you to say you can still do some planting in june yeah if you wanted to start out the garden in june you can still plant some things some of these plants um take about two to three months to mature and you can get flowers and fruits from them some of them are just greens that you can just get your green leaves or salad vegetables from them yeah so that's what i'm going to be sharing with you in today's video seeds that you can still plant in the month of june yeah so i'm going to start with green amaranth i plant these for the leaves but now i'm learning that the seeds are super food as well you know the seeds make um they're packed full of all of the wonderful things that are great for your body for our body so i will be planting i can plant this and this i mean <laughs> it takes about two to three days to germinate and they grow like crazy in four to six weeks you would have a nice beautiful plant that you can get leaves from and you can take seeds from and you don't have to buy the seeds again once you've planted it once you can keep on um collecting the seeds by yourself so that's one that you can plant now and of course if you live in america i think it's zone eight zone eight yeah because i live in the uk and uk is like the same thing as america either zone eight or zone seven that will work this these plants will work in any of those zones as well you can still plant your sweet corn and anyways if you live in nigeria because i know some of you watch me from nigeria if you live in nigeria you can plant sweet corn in succession you can plant maize in succession so you can plant some of them now and you can wait after three to four weeks you plant another batch because you can have them all around you have the weather and the conditions to have them all year round um you can still plant okra now okra is a little bit mm. <laughs> it's difficult if you have a greenhouse yes you can still plant okra now so i've done sweet corn pumpkins these will be ready in maybe six to eight weeks around september when you want to do your halloween whatever thing thanksgiving and all that you can plant these now i just started mine out um, i think last week or two weeks ago they're right in the bed somewhere and some i have some in the buckets i want to put them by the fence so that they can chill down the fence yeah and of course tomatoes never too late it takes about i mean if you get the store-bought seedlings that would be great but if you don't get them if you know how to sprout these overnight or yeah in three weeks you should be able to get them outside and if you're good if you're that good this is like 50 50 for tomatoes um i've got rockets and all your summer squashes all your summer squashes you can still do them now you can still do everything to do with squashes zucchinis all that type of thing you can still do them now um garden peas you can still plant your garden peas now of course if they don't take so long i can show you mine in the bed they're doing really well and i hope that i'll get something out of them very soon but they don't take too long to germinate and i mean you're going to enjoy the fruits, uh, the, the pods. Let me see. Calendula is another one that is lovely. It's great for the beds, um, for the pollinators, you know, and you can have it as well. I don't have a seed, to show, a seed pack to show you for marigold, but marigold is another one that is great for the pollinators as an accompanying plant to the other plants in the bed. And you can have that as well. What else do I have here? Your cooks, cucumber, you can still start them now. It's not too late, okay? Uh, they don't take too long to germinate. They don't take too long to grow. So you can still start your cucumbers now. Showing you those. Basil, basil. I can show you the ones I started the other day. They are in my herb truck there. I can show I can show them to you. They are doing very well. I put them in in three pots, and I just pinch a little bit when I want to, in my soup, in my salad, in my anything that I'm making that I want a little bit of uh, basil, a hint of basil. So um, juices, soups, 
salad, stir fries, anything like that goes. Oh, I showed the wrong one for basil. So this is the basil, yeah. And then spinach is getting too hot now for spinach. For for the for the but if you want to plant um where's my summer spinach? Yeah, if you want to plant spinach, you have to plant the other variety. I'm going to show you. I think I have it, the one that um that climbs. Yeah. What else do I have here? Onion. Well, the rest of them are things that you may have to start off from a, a, a store bought. You can get them, you can get the the baby plants, the ones they sell in the nurseries or in the in the grocery shops like asdas and tesco sometimes they sell little seedlings and you can still put those ones in your garden now and in four or five weeks you'll get something nice yeah so don't be discouraged and of course if you're buying seedlings off the shop that takes a whole lot of pressure from you because you're not starting you're not worried about seeds germinating or not germinating and the job has been done for you you just need to bring them in and put them in. and who says that you cannot get uh stop seedlings you don't have to start everything from seeds yeah nobody's got time and nobody got time for that according to skinny boy randy yeah <laughs> skinny and skinny boy randy if you watch his channel <laughs> you would have noticed how many times he says ain't nobody got time for that okay who says you can't we don't we, we ain't got no money to be to be wasting on stuff yeah so our money is meant to be channeled to the right places so yes if you cannot um start your your plants from seeds you can definitely get them from um the ones they sell in the shops the seedlings the baby plants that they sell in the shops and if you have a space in your garden bed or you want to plant them in some containers you can still do that now you still got the window of um june july august september i think sometimes there's delayed frost frost comes towards the end of the year really um december <laughs> november december so yeah thank you for watching guys i wanted to share that with you seeds that you can still plant in the month of june i shall see you in the next one bye on our community tab we do a feedback on all the lovely plants um both horticultural and vegetables that are in the backyards in the diaspora gardens uh so if you haven't yet subscribed that's enough reason to subscribe because if you're not subscribed, you won't be getting um, access to the community content. Um, also, we love to have a reaction from you. We'd love to hear from you. Engage in the community, engage in the discussions. And when you finish, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's important because it lets us know um, whether you liked the video or whether you didn't like the video. And also, it's good for the algorithm. So be a part of our success. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.